hi in this video i'm going to show you how to calculate the returns from a stock price series so i've imported this data set so i've used the pandas library to import it, import uh, stock return uh, data is there in my local uh, system um, and i will be needing numpy for that okay so if you see in the data set i already have returns but that i have calculated in excel sheet and but how do we do it in python i mean well one way is to write a formula for return and do it but we can also using some pandas in built uh, functionalities okay so that's uh, pretty simple actually you know in uh, pandas you have percentage and pct underscore change if you use that you can uh, get the return uh, and you uh, I've just uh, use that and when I run this I get return uh, basically I'm, I'm creating another fill for return one which is automatically created by this um, percentage underscore change and as you can expect for the first row you won't have any value because you know you won't have a return for the first day, zeroth day and then then the, after that you will have return and there is a small difference between how uh, well, there's a very small difference after the second or third digit uh, from what I have calculated in Excel sheet. Okay, so there's is, is probably the difference in way in, in the way that it uh, calculates a return from that of the Excel uh, algorithm. But the difference is pretty pretty minor, right? So another thing is like if you want to convert the time series, a daily time series. Um, for example, in this case, it's a daily stock price into um, into monthly time series. What you can use is uh, a functionality from the uh, NumPy called resample. Okay, and if you want to use monthly, you want to convert a daily into monthly, then you use in bracket M. Otherwise, you can also use Y if you want to convert into Y. And this is very important in time series research, right? Like to be able to convert a daily time series into monthly and yearly. Uh, 